in this video we are going to discuss about memory segmentation uh, in a086 microprocessor we know that a086 is a 16 bit microprocessor that means here the microprocessor performs operations on 16 bit data that means the size of each register in a086 microprocessor is 16 bits so the size of each register is what 16 bits whereas in a085 the size of your register is 8 bits now let us discuss about address bus uh, in a086 microprocessor address bus uses uh, 20 bits address bus uses uh, uh, 20 bits so the maximum capacity of the physical memory that is main memory is 2 power 20 2 power 20 means 1 megabyte so 1 megabyte is uh, the size of the main memory okay so memory segmentation means the main memory is divided into various parts which are called as segments here 1 megabyte means here uh, we can divide the main memory into 16 segments where the size of each segment is 64 kilobyte okay so let us draw the diagram so this is the main memory this is the main memory so we can divide the main memory into 16 segments where the size of each segment is 64 kilobyte here we are dividing the main memory into only four segments the first segment is called as uh, the first segment is called as a code segment code segment and the next segment is stack segment stack segment next segment is data segment data segment and the fourth segment is extra segment extra segment so here we have divided the main memory into four segments four parts likewise we can divide the main memory into 16 segments here the maximum size of the main memory is here the size of the main memory is 1 megabyte why because here address bus uses 20 bits the size of the address is address bus is 20 bits so 20 bits means uh, we can uh, uh, place what 2 power 20 elements so 2 power 20 means 1 megabyte so 1 megabyte means 16 into 64 kilobyte okay so we can divide the main memory into totally 16 segments but here we have divided into only four segments here the size of each segment is what 64 kilobyte so this size is 64 kilobyte this size is 64 kilobyte this segment size is uh, 64 segments so this is called as memory segmentation dividing the main memory into various segments here in order to store the addresses we are using uh, segmentation resistors as well as offset resistors now let us focus on uh, segmentation resistors as well as uh, offset resistors segmentation resistors mainly we have four segmentation resistors are there the first segmentation resistor is cs cs stands for code segment resistor and the second uh, segmentation resistor is uh, stack segment so this is ss stands for stack segment resistor third is third one is ds ds stands for data segment resistor so we can call this as segmentation resistors or we can call as segment resistors also fourth one is es es stands for extra segment resistor okay now let us focus on uh, First, let us see what is the advantages of uh, these segments and then we will discuss about these resistors. Code segment resistor mainly contains the code. Code means the program which is currently executing by the CPU. Let CPU is executing uh, uh, first program. Now code segment contains the first program okay, that is currently executing by the CPU. Whereas stack segment is mainly useful for storing the subroutines 
stack segment is mainly useful for storing the subroutines or we can call as uh, uh, procedures we can call subroutine as procedure also or this is also called as sub program sub program so stack segment is mainly useful for storing subroutine or procedures or sub programs subroutines are nothing but functions so whenever a function is called then what will happen is that function return address will be stored in the stack segment we know that uh, stack segment uh, stack works on the principle of lifo lifo stands for last in first out so the element which is inserted last will be deleted first from the stack so this is about uh, the advantage of the stack segment it is mainly useful for storing the subroutines or uh, procedures and the next one is data segment last one is extra segment data segment and extra segment are useful in order to store the data in order to store the operands uh, let we have an instruction called add a comma b a and b contain some operands so those operands will be stored in data segment or extra segment so this is about uh, the use the usages of these segments here totally here the size of the address is 20 bits here uh, let us see the range of this main memory here totally we have to use as five digits so one two three four five five digits uh, this is nothing but hexadecimal digit we know that hexadecimal digit means each digit represents four bits let the number is 10 so 10 means a how to represent a 1010 so 11 means b so b means 1011 1011 so here each digit represents four bits so totally how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 each digit represents 4 bits so 4 into 5 means 20 bits 4 into 5 means what 20 bits so 20 bits are needed in order to specify the address okay whereas the last location of the main memory is 5 f's 1 2 3 4 5 5 f's h h specifies that it is a hexadecimal notation or h specifies that it is address address means we have to write h here so f means this is the maximum number this is the maximum number so here each f represents what 4 bits 4 into how many f's are there 5 f's are there so 4 into 5 means 20 bits so this is the range of the main memory 5 zeros h to 5 f h h specifies that it is an address okay uh, so this is about the advantages of these segments now let us focus on what is the use of code segment register code segment register is useful to store the starting address of the code segment so in order to store the starting address of the code segment we use as the code segment register let the starting address of this uh, code segment register is 5 ones h now cs contains 5 ones h next one is stack segment stack segment register is useful in order to store the starting address of stack segment let the starting address of the stack, seg stack segment is 5 ones 5 twos h so now 5 twos h will be stored in the stack segment register we know the advantage of a register register is useful in order to hold the data in order to store the data here we are using the register in order to store the address likewise data segment register stores the address of the data segment uh, next likewise extra segment register stores the starting address of the extra segment okay now let us focus on the offset resistance offset resistance offset resistance what is offset register offset register contains a particular location of the corresponding segment okay it may be code segment or stack segment or data segment or extra segment each segment contains each segment size is 64 kilobyte so a particular location in that offset a particular location in that segment is called as the offset so for that totally we have uh, uh, let us see the offset resistors first one is ip ip stands for instruction pointer resistor instruction pointer resistor and the second one is uh, sp sp stands for stack pointer stack pointer stack pointer register and the third one is uh, bp bp stands for base pointer register 
these three registers can also be called as pointer registers pointer registers okay instruction pointer stack pointer base pointer can also be called as pointer register whereas the last two two are si si stands for source index register source index register and the last one is di da stands for destination index register okay these two can also be called as index register okay let us see the advantage of the instruction pointer instruction pointer points to an offset of the code segment so a particular location of the code segment so that is to be pointed by the instruction pointer okay uh, let here what is the first instruction 31111h next address may be 31112h next address 31113 uh, instruction pointer points to any location let it points to 31113 so likewise okay and uh, what is the next one stack pointer stack pointer points to an offset within the stack segment next to base pointer points to an offset within data segment or extra segment so by using base pointer we can point to either data segment or extra segment offset whereas source index point si si points to an offset within the data segment uh, next one is di di points to an offset within the extra segment di points to an offset within the extra segment here in order to calculate the physical address let us see the formula for calculating the physical address the formula is physical address is equal to segmentation address segmentation address it may be any segment it may be either code segment address or stack segment address or data segment address or this one extra segment address it may be any address code segment or stack or data or extra segment into 10 plus offset plus offset so physical address is equal to segmentation address into 10 plus offset okay so if we if we according to the values we can ca calculate the physical address so based upon the physical address the microprocessor will executes the next instruction okay so in this way uh, you can explain about uh, memory segmentation in uh, 8086 microprocessor so memory segmentation means dividing the main memory into various segments and storing the corresponding segment data according to our requirement